So buying a good Wi-Fi router is a bit like buying a good bed. You don't necessarily need a good one, but boy, when you do get one, it makes a world of difference and makes it very hard to deal with anything else. IG here again today and we're having a look at the Netgear Nighthawk R7000 Wi-Fi router. So the Netgear Nighthawk router is probably one of the baddest AC wireless routers out there. In terms of design, it looks like a tank or a stealth bomber or however you prefer to take that metaphor. It's definitely a big router, but it kind of reflects the features and, uh, and I guess the benefits of having a router that is this bad. And I mean bad in terms of the best sense of the word. This this router is pretty amazing. So it's got plenty of ports, plenty of features. Let's just talk about the quick things that have struck me in my use of it. So for those of you who don't know, I recently moved and I finally got myself connected to the NBN. Those of you in Australia will know what I'm talking about. Those overseas basically just means I caught, we, I just caught up to the rest of the world in terms of internet speed. Fiber optic cabling is amazing. So I thought, well, what better time to get an awesome router than with awesome internet. Having a router that is this good, like the Netgear in terms of dual band wireless, plenty of range, and also capable of handling plenty of connections, uh, is definitely one of the best steps you can take to get more out of your internet connection. So in terms of specs, this thing has a one gigahertz processor, it has two gigs of RAM, and it's got a little bit of flash storage in there as well, uh, just to help it interact with its own little OS. Funnily enough, it actually is capable uh, and it officially supports loading third-party firmware onto the router. That means almost limitless capabilities in terms of what you can do with the router. But out of the box with Netgear's own firmware, it is actually pretty adjustable. You can configure router level VPN services, you can configure obviously to tie it in with DNS servers, and obviously it does all the fun stuff in terms of sharing your home media, being able to plug external hard drives in because it's got that full-size USB 3.0 port on the front and a USB 2.0 port on the back. Uh, obviously you've got four Ethernet plugs running along the side, you've got your WAN input, and you've got those three removable antennas. Now they really boost the signal of the router and give it a much bigger range, and in terms of your actual wireless capability, it is an AC router, meaning that it can connect actual true, true dual band connectivity. You can have two different wireless frequencies operating at the same time, giving you very fast Wi-Fi connections, whether you're with the legacy standard, which is 802.11n, uh, you can get up to 600 megabits a second, and on 802.11ac you can get up to 1.3 gigabits a second. So this is pretty impressive on a spec sheet, and in everyday life that is obviously going to be reflected. Doesn't really matter how many devices I have connected to this thing, how many are streaming internet, uh, it seems to handle it like a boss. So it's definitely the most reliable router I have ever used. Uh, I've yet to drop a connection in the month and a half that I've had it. Never had to reset it, it literally took me about two minutes to set it up and connect to it, and obviously I've been tinkering with the settings ever since, but in terms of getting online, it's, it's pretty easy. It also has a very configurable quality of service uh, option in there as well, uh, through the configuration menus, and yeah, again, you can configure nearly every level of this router in terms of what you want to be prioritized, whether it's, uh, whether it's online streaming, whether it's gaming, anything like that, you'll be able to give it specific instructions regarding each of those tasks. So I guess the long and the short of it is that if you can afford this router, which uh, it'll be around between 250 and 320 here in Australia, I believe in the States it's about 200, and who knows about everywhere else, if you can afford it, definitely go with it, because you will not regret having wireless that is this solid. Because at the end of the day, in my opinion, the Netgear Nighthawk R7000 is worth every dollar in terms of reliability, performance, and features. So shout out to the boys at Harvey Norman for this great little router, and definitely let me know what you think about this router in the comments below. And also give me a heads up in the comments below about what you thought, what little piece of technology uh, took your tech life to the next level. Be that a phone, a router, or maybe home electricity management on your smartphone, anything that you think brought your tech life to the next level, let me know in the comments below, and I will be pretty entertained, I'm sure. So thank you all for watching. You can find links to what I've talked about in the comments section below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, Plus. if you'd like to contact me there. In the meantime, I will see you in the very next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.